In this part of 9.1 day 1, we're going to be using the distance formula. So let's write this formula here down in our notes. So basically what we have is the square root of the difference of our x's squared plus the difference of our y's squared. Now, under the square root, we should always get a positive number. Distance is always positive, so it's always going to end up being positive. Each one of these here, once I square it, it should be positive, because any number squared is a positive number, whether it's positive or a negative number. If I square 4, it's positive. If I square negative 4, it's still positive, both 16. Let's try this example here. So my distance is going to be equal to the square root of the difference of my x's, so negative 4 minus 3 squared, plus the difference of my y's, 3 minus 5 squared. Let's simplify this now. What I'm going to have is the square root of negative 7 squared plus negative 2 squared. Well, negative 7 squared is positive 49 plus negative 2 squared is positive 4. So I end up with a square root of 53. Now I have to ask myself, can I simplify the square root? Can I divide out any perfect squares? Well, the answer is no in this case. So I have to give a rounded answer as well. So it says exact answer. This is my exact. But my rounded one to the nearest hundred, that'll be a decimal. So I'll have two solutions here. My rounded solution will be 7.28. Some of you may be wondering, what if we got something that could be simplified? For example, let's say my distance ended up being the square root of 48. What would I do? Well, I can definitely simplify this. I can take out a 16, I can divide 48 by 16, and be left with 3. Now the important thing about 16 is it's a perfect square. Square root of 16 is 4, and then I'm left with square root of 3 in the radical. So simplified would be 4 root 3. To get my decimal, just like we did before, we'd plug it in our calculator.